Welcome to church. Uh, welcome uh, all our friends and family. This is uh, Sword Eagle Ministries from Echo Ridge. And the music we're listening to today is from Jesus Culture. Amen. Praise God. We invite everybody to listen to the sermon today, to fellowship with us, to hear what God is saying here yes. at Sword Eagle Amen. Ministries. Amen. Uh, we're going to give everybody a few minutes to uh, come online to join us. Uh, we're going to listen to this uh, the music and, uh, and just talk about what God is doing today. Uh, we just want to thank God for the praise reports that, yes. that are coming yeah. in. Yes. And, uh, God is touching people and uh, God is still healing people even yes. though yes. the world has changed. There are things going on that we don't have control of. But God's still healing people. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have God to turn to. Yes. He says in times like this, we have Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he is the great friend. He's always with us. Amen. That's the great thing about Thank our Father. Amen. 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 He takes care of his own. And he comforts his own. Yes, and even does. in these times, he's there waiting for each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. And all it takes is just talking to Jesus. Right. It's no different than sitting there talking to your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your wife. You can talk to Jesus just the same way. Yes. And he's just a whisper away. Yes. We thank for all the praise reports that have come in. And also, you know, before we even get started, we want to pray for our nation and the things that are going on inside of our nation. Yes, amen. And with our politics and our government and the COVID-19 and our states cities and towns That's right. we want to pray for guidance we want to pray for people to be smart yes amen use wisdom praise god heavenly father lord we thank you for this beautiful day father here as we broadcast from echo ridge father sword eagle ministry father we thank you father we thank you for being faithful to us father lord we thank you for all the things that you do for us father Lord, we pray for our nation, Father. And as in all the different branches of government, Father, Lord, that there would be smart about what's going on in the land today, Father. Lord, we pray for people, Father, to be smart in what they're doing. Father. Yes, yes. Lord, that they won't be in harm's way. Lord, that they would be safe, Father. Yes. Lord, we pray for everybody, all the hurt that's going on in our nation, Father. Yes, Jesus. Lord, the, the things that are going on with the injustice, Father. Lord, we pray for people. Father, we pray, Lord, that they turn to you, Father, mm -hmm. because you are the answer, Father. That's right. Yes. Lord, you are the answer to all yes. the problems. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and we you, thank Lord. you, Father, today. Lord, we just thank Hallelujah. you for you, Father, and who you are, Father, and that you are a just God. Lord, we just praise your name, Father. And the church says, Amen. 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 Thank praise you, God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about His mercy. Yes. And really I want to change to be His great mercy. Yes. Because God has unbelievable mercy for man. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that you guys had a blessed week. I mean, we've seen another week. And we've seen God's hand protection. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. On our lives on our family and our friends. Another week has come and gone. Just that past. Amen. Can you believe that half of the year is almost gone in just a few days? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem possible. Mm -mm. But life is so precious. Yes, it is. And time marches on and it does not wait for anybody. That's right. God made time. Just think about that. The sun goes around the earth mm -hmm. once a day. One full revolution. That's time. That's the way God designed it. That's right. <clears throat> and just think about this. Things will never keep on going on the same because in God's wisdom, he put a time limit on things. Yes, yes, he did. yes. On every situation. Yes, he did. On every trial. Mm -hmm. 
everything that we go through is put on a time. Thank you, Lord. The Bible tells us in Psalms 103, 15 through 18, it says, human life is like grass. Mm -hmm. We grow like a flower in the field. After the wind blows, the flower is gone. And there is no sign of where it was. But the Lord loves those who respect him, continues forever and ever. And his goodness continues to their grandchildren and to those who keep his agreement and who remember to obey his orders. Yes, amen. That is why life is so precious. Because mm -hmm. it says right here, it's gone just as quick as it came. You go out and look at these flowers, like especially here in Arizona, everything is blooming. And as hot as this heat and the wind blowing, those flowers are not around for long. Right. That is how life is. Mm -hmm. That's how God sees life. So suddenly, things go. Yes. But time is forever moving forward, mm -hmm. and the pace is faster than we ever think. Yes, thank you, Lord. Just think how quickly your life is where it is right now. I'm almost 50, but 50 years seem very quick. A 50 more, I hope they go a little bit slower. But we see here, only what we do for God will last. That's right. Matthew 6, 19 states, don't store treasures for yourself here on earth. Yes. Where moss and rust will destroy them, and thieves can break in and steal them. But store your treasures in heaven, where they cannot be destroyed by moss yeah. and rust, and where thieves cannot break in and steal them. Yes. Your heart will be where your treasure is. Yes. And I've been thinking about mercy. Mm -hmm. And God puts those impressions in us. And on my way to work, I started thinking about God's great mercy. And I thought, I need to show mercy. We all need to show more mercy. Yes, help us Lord. But we have a great example of Jesus Christ. He is the great example of mercy. Yes, he is. Who can know and understand who God is? Thank you, Lord. It's mind-boggling to understand him. But we have his word that speaks and shows us about this great mercy that passes all understanding. Mm -hmm. That's the difference of God's mercy. First of all, let's look at the word mercy. Mercy, the noun, is compassion or forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Now, I talked about forgiveness just a couple weeks ago. Compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone who is within, is within one's power to punish yeah. or harm. Right. Now, here's some similar words. Just think about these. Leniency, clemency, compassion, grace, forgiveness. We talked about forbearance last week, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And what about humanity? Mildness, soft-heartedness, tender-heartedness, kindness, yeah. sympathy, tolerance. Generosity. All speak similar to the word mercy. But let's look at the opposite. Ruthlessness. Mm. Cruelty. Oh, yeah. And inhumanity. Which means extremely cruel and brutal behavior. Wow. The complete opposite of mercy. Okay. Just by using the dictionary we see the very different definition of how God shows his mercy. 
yes. in compassion to humanity. In his great mercy right now, he is waiting for you. That's his mercy. Can we even fathom his mercy for us? He gave all. Yes. That all might be saved. It is hard to talk about mercy without talking about forgiveness mm -hmm. and his love because they are intertwined. When we talk about God because he had great mercy. He is love. God created these words. That's, see, that's the amazing thing about God. Mm -hmm. God created everything. How about that? Mm -hmm. They are the very essence of God. In his infinite wisdom, which means impossible to measure, of creating man and knowing the future, because he knows everything. Yes, he does. He knew man would need mercy. Mm -hmm. My main scripture is found in Psalms 103, <clears throat> verse 8. The title above this says, Praise to the Lord of love. I'm going to start off the first verse. In obviously Psalms, here we come back to David. The first verse, let's just think about this. All that I am, I praise the Lord. Everything in me praises his holy name. Yes. My whole being praise the Lord. And do not forget all his kindness. He forgives all my sin. This is talking about mercy. And heals all my diseases. Yes. He saved my life from the grave, and he loads with love and mercy. He satisfies, satisfies me with good things. It makes me young again like the eagle. The Lord does what is right and fair for all who are wronged by others. Yes, he does. He showed his way to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. In verse 8, the key verse. The Lord shows mercy and is kind, and he does not become angry quickly, and he has great love. Yes. Verse 9, he will not always accuse us. Mm -hmm. That's his mercy. He will not be angry forever. Amen. He will not punish us as our sins should be punished. He has not repaid us for the evil we have done. Now listen to this. This is about mercy. He has taken away our sins away from us as far as the east is from the west. The Lord has mercy for those who respect him as a father has mercy on his children. Yes. He knows how we were made and he remembers that we are dust. These verses speak of that great mercy for us. Every, every single one of them talks about God's mercy. How many times do we see his mercy in this chapter? A little tidbit, I looked this up. As I said, I Googled it. The word mercy appears 262 times in the Bible. Wow. Just so you know. Here we go. His mercy has a time limit. Mm -hmm. Wow. In his great mercy, there is a time limit. As great as his mercy is, there is a time limit for man. He is waiting on man. The door of mercy is open wide. Yes. He is giving every one of us right now mercy. Yes, to is. accept him, to not reject salvation. He is offering us for you to have eternity with the Father. It is available to everyone. It doesn't matter your race. We hear the news. <coughs> it 
It doesn't matter your gender. We hear about that in the news. Yes. It doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter who your family is. It doesn't matter where you live. True. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. Amen. It doesn't matter how old you are. Jesus, thank you, Lord. His desire is that no one should be lost. And we talk about eternity. And the definition of eternity is infinite. An unending of time. That's what God is offering. Yes. Each and every one, every one of us. You're never going to die. You're, you're going to live forever. That's right. Just think about it. You're going to live forever somewhere. Regardless of what man says. And what he believes God said. You're going to spend it somewhere. Yes. Because you know what God said. That's the great thing about God. His word is true. And he is the word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That is why he wants, that's what he wants for each one of us, eternity. Mm -hmm. Don't take your salvation lightly. It is the smartest decision that you can ever do for yourself. Amen. It will be the difference between heaven and hell. Yes. People don't like when you say that. That's true. But that is what it is. Mm -hmm. Do not leave your salvation to someone else. If you are looking for salvation, read the word of God and you will find it. That is why I bring up his mercy has a time limit for you. Now is the time. Now is the time. It says in 2 Corinthians 6, 1 through 2, we are workers together with God. So we beg you, don't let the grace that you receive from God be for nothing. Yes. His grace, what was that? A symbol of word to mercy. God says, at the right time, I heard your prayers. On the day of salvation, I helped you. Mm -hmm. I tell you that right now is now. The day of salvation is now. Don't wait too late and let his mercy run out. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Nobody. Oh, my God. But God knows about tomorrow. Now, just picture what's going on in life. Because this is the right on word. It's called mercy. Yes. God's hand of mercy is extended to the nations. Nobody but God knows about tomorrow. That's mm -hmm. right. Your fortune teller, your wise men, unless God has given a vision, nobody knows about tomorrow. He knows who's going to die tonight. Mm -hmm. He knows who's going to die tomorrow. He knows who's going to die on Tuesday. Yes. Be concerned about today. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love what Jesus yes. says about tomorrow in Matthew 6, 34, which backs up exactly what I just said. So don't worry about tomorrow, uh -huh. because tomorrow will have its own worries. That's right. Each day has enough trouble That's of its own. Mm -hmm. His love for man is greater than we can ever imagine. Can you wrap around your head around his mercy? His mercy. Without that mercy, there's no hope. That's right. A lot of people are hurting right now. A lot of us are going through things that nobody even knows about. Yes. But God knows. In his mercy, we have a Savior that loves us. And he cares so much, he gave his life for you. Yes. You are precious to him. We talk about life. Life is precious. Your life is precious to God. Yes. Right where you are right now. No matter where you are at, he is there yes. for you. He is there for you. 
Even if you don't know him, he's there for you. <clears throat> that is why when we talk about his mercy, we are talking about his love too. Yes. When we think about his mercy, we should get on our knees. It's true. Help us, Lord. And thank him. With everything we have and our gift. Yes. Yes. Crying for his love. Worshiping God with all that we have. Just as David said in our chapter today, he is worthy of all praise. He is worthy of our praise. Yes, our admiration of his greatness. It is mercy for us that there is everlasting life. By his mercy, you have a life. Just think about it. By his mercy, you have a life. And he wants you to enjoy it. Yes, he does. And I thought about this. Me and my wife were at the store last week. And we were just enjoying the day together last Saturday. And we went to Target and we were in there. And we started to say, hey, let's get us some goggles. Let's get them stuck in the pool. Let's get a ball for the pool. Let's, we, were, we were like kids in a store just going down the aisle getting stuff uh, to play with. But that's what God, God wants you to enjoy the life of Yes, gives. he does. He wants you to have fun. And the reason we can do that is because of God's mercy. Let's look at Romans 12, 1 through 13. Now, if you don't know who wrote Romans, that would be the Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. The great Apostle Paul. And here's a tidbit when this was written. It says, during the winter of 57 and 58 AD, Paul was in the Greek city of Corinth. From Corinth, he wrote the longest single letter in the New Testament, mm -hmm. which he addresses to God's beloved in Rome. Right. Like most New Testament letters, this letter is known by the name of its recipient, the Romans. Mm -hmm. the, epistles to, the epistles to the Romans, or the letters to the Romans, often shortened to Rome, means, is the sixth book in the New Testament. Bible scholars agree that it was composed by Paul the Apostle. Yes. Now listen, to explain that salvation is offered through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm. It is the longest of the epistles. And it talks about, in this chapter, give your life to God. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's read a little bit. And it starts off like Paul so eloquently puts it. So, brother and sister, since God has shown us great mercy, I beg you to offer your lives as a living sacrifice to Him. Yes. Your offering must be only for God and pleasing to Him, which is the spiritual way for you to worship. Listen, do not, verse 2, be shaped by this world. Mm -hmm. Now this world is crazy. Wicked. Corrupt. Thank you, Jesus. Instead, be changed within. Yes. By a new way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be able to decide what God wants for you. You will know what is good and pleasing to him and what is perfect. Because God has given me a special gift. I have something to say to everyone among you. Do not think you are better than you are. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yes. You must decide what you really are by the mouth of faith. 
God has given you. Each one of us has a body with many parts. And I like the way he explains it. And these parts all have different uses. Mm -hmm. yes. Just like this little pinky. My little pinky toe. Maybe it doesn't seem that great, but you bang that little pinky toe, it'll get your attention. Yes. Take your pinky toe, you lose your balance. Yes. That's how important the parts are to the body. To the natural body and to the spiritual body. That's right. That's right. In the same way, we are many. But in Christ, we are all one body. Yes. Each one is a part of that body. Each part belongs to all the other parts. My hand belongs to my wrist. My arm belongs to my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yes. Same philosophy. We all have different gifts. I like what he says about this. Each of which came because of the grace God gave us. Mercy. Verse 1 says, So brother and sister, since God has shown us great mercy, I beg you to offer your lives. I beg you to offer your lives. Beg. beg. Plead with you to turn and offer your life a living sacrifice to him. By God's great mercy, we do belong to him. Yes, we do. Our life has a purpose. God wants us to use what he has given us for him and his kingdom. Your gifts. further in the chapter. It talks about those gifts. Anyone who has the gift of serving should serve. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm. We back up one little verse to finish out six. It says, the person who has the gift of prophecy should use that gift in agreement with the faith. Yes. Anyone who has the gift of teaching should teach. Just listen to the gifts because you have a gift. Yes. Whosoever has a gift of encouraging others should encourage. There's some people that do that very well. Change the whole situation. Yes. Thank and that's you. that gift. Mm -hmm. where you can talk to people and encourage them and give them hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Just like right now. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right now. Whoever has the gift of giving to others should freely give. Isn't it better to give than receive? Yes. I know it is for me. Anyone who has the gift of being a leader should try hard when he leads. Yes. Listen to these gifts. It's good. And God talks about mercy as one of the gifts. Whosoever has the gift of showing mercy to others should do so with joy. Mm -hmm. Your love must be real. Hate what is evil. Yes. And hold on to what is good. Love each other like brothers and sisters. Do you hear Paul? Yes. He started off <laughs> brother and sister. He's still talking about brother and sister. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give each other honor. Give each other more honor than you want for yourself. Yes. Come on now. It says preferring your brother and yes. sister. Yes. Come on now. Amen. When you prefer your brother and sister, you will get out of the way. All right. That's good. We should all be praying for mercy in our lives mm -hmm. and to show mercy to our fellow brothers and sisters, and also to the world. Because there is no mercy. You can just see by the way people act when they're driving a the car. Yeah. Which is probably one of the most dangerous things you can use to intimidate other people with. 
but we need all to show mercy. Verse 11 says, do not be lazy. Paul didn't mix words. He said, don't be lazy. He says, work hard. That's yes, right. yes. Serve the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Be joyful because you have hope. Mm -hmm. That mercy, we have hope. Be patient when trouble comes. And pray. Pray at all times. Yes. Share with God's people who need help. He even talked about bringing strangers mm -hmm. in need into your homes. We have so much to be thankful for because of his great mercy. We have to quit thinking about what we have. Listen, we have to quit thinking about what we don't have. All right. But think about what you have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of God's mercy. Mm -hmm. That's good. Me and my wife talk about things, but this is right where it is. We have a beautiful home. We're thinking about buying another home in the future, but we need to be happy with what we have. Yes. God's talking to all of us. Mm -hmm. Because he says, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. That's right. Ephesians 2, 1 through 10. Just listen to this. This talks about we now have a life. In the past, you were spiritually dead because of your sins. And the things you did against God. Yes, in the past you lived the way the world lives. Yeah. Following the rulers of the evil powers that are above the earth. Mm -hmm. That same spirit is now working in those who refuse to obey God. That's right. Just listen to these words. You can't put it any better because it came from God. Mm -hmm. In the past, all of us lived like them. Trying to please our sinful selves. In doing all things our bodies and minds wanted. We should have suffered God's anger because we were sinful by nature. We were the same as all other people. Verse 4, the key one in this whole chapter. But God's mercy is great. Mm -hmm. And he loved us very much. That's why we think about mercy. You have to think about what God has done for you. Yes. Though we were spiritually dead because of these things we did against God, he gave us a new life with Christ. Yes, he did. You have been saved by God's grace. Yes. Similar word to mercy, grace. Thank you, Lord. And he raised us up with Christ and gave us a seat with him in the heavens. He did this for those in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that for all future time, now talking about eternity, he has shown the very great riches of his grace by being kind to us in Christ Jesus. I mean that you have been saved by grace through believing. You did not save yourself. It was a gift. Yes, yes, yes. Gift from God. Another gift. It was not the result of your own effort. So you cannot brag about it. Right. Thank you. God has made us what we are mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. God made us do good works, which God planned in advance for us to living our lives doing. I like what it says in verse 4 and 5. 
but because of his great love for us. God, who is rich in mercy, yes. made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. Yes. It is only by his grace you are saved. Yes, yes. Amen. By his great mercy, we have a life in him. Only by his mercy. Be thankful for your life. Just like I said before, stop and enjoy the moment. Enjoy the mercy God has shown us. I like what Micah says in Micah 7, 18. Who is a God like you? Mm -hmm. Who? Mm -hmm. Who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? Do not stay angry forever, but delight to show mercy. The question is, who is a God like you? Yes. That's what I say. Who is a God like you? That's right. Yes, Lord. I love it. No one is like God. No. We need to thank God for showing his mercy to us. A little tidbit about this book of Micah. It is the sixth of the twelve minor prophets in the Hebrew Bible. Old Testament. If you look at these chapters, and there's just seven, listen what it says about these seven chapters. Micah reproaches unjust leaders. Wow. He defends the rights of the poor against the rich yes. and powerful. I, that blew me away when I read that. While looking forward to a world at peace, centered on Zion under the leadership of new, the new David monarch, we definitely need more like him today. Yes, yes, we do. Help us, Jesus. And I want to touch one other thing. In Hebrews, it talks about Jesus as the great high priest. Mm -hmm. Just look at all the things that God has done for us. He made a way of escape yes. to escape death in sin forever. He made a way mm -hmm. out of no way. In his power, his greatness. That's why we talk about who God is. You can't fathom who he is. The mind <coughs> gets overloaded mm -hmm. of his power just to make things stay where they're up at. Hold the whole world together by his power. Yes. Wow. The universe speaks of his power, of who he is. And the world is going to see who he is. One day, in the future. Yes. In time, you're going to see how great God is. Mm -hmm. And people that mock him and crucify him and say names about him, rail on him, you're going to see the power of God. You're going to know the power of God. Yes. Because he's the one that's going to put you in hell by his power. And us that accept him, we're going to heaven. We're going to reign with him. Yes. But his power, Amen. his power is going to be shown to the world. Yes, thank you, Lord. The world's going to know who's in control. Mm -hmm. I know who's in control. But the world, the world the leaders, world. the people that think they're in control are not in control. There you go. God is in control. And we're going to speak about that a little bit. God is in control. Mm -hmm. Make no man God is in control. Amen. He knows what you think right now. Mm -hmm. He knows I just thought, you thought, you thought, you thought. Because that's how much he knows. Yes. yes. When he 
you say the words, he knows everybody. The six or seven billion people on the planet, he knows every single one. That's right. He knows what you're going to do next second. Mm -hmm. The next second, you're going to do five minutes now, he's going to know what you do. That's God. That's God. That's God. Mm -hmm. That's why we say there is no other. What is the question? Who is he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you understand who he is? Try to understand who God is. And what he's done for you by his mercy. Mm -hmm. Because man doesn't show mercy. Mm -hmm. They'll show mercy when they want to show mercy. And they will not show mercy when they don't want to show mercy. Right. The sinful nature. The spite. But God in his great mercy. He gives it to all. He didn't say one race would get it. God gives his mercy to everyone. Yes. That's why he is the great high priest. Yes, he is. Verse 14. Therefore, since we have a great high priest mm -hmm. who has ascended into heaven. Now, is that, he's talking about Jesus, huh? Yes, that's right. He's talking about Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses. But we have one who has been tempted in every way, mm -hmm. just as we are, yet he did not sin. Jesus. Let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence mm -hmm. so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in time of need. Yes. Mm. That's good. There is mercy today because of his love for us. We just need to humble ourselves and ask for God's help. That's right. I know I need God's help in my life. How about you? And I started at Psalms 103. And I'm going to finish the rest of it. 19 through 22. Let's just think about when I talk about who's in control. It doesn't matter what you think. Mm -hmm. How do you like that one? It don't matter what you think. That's true. God said. Mm -hmm. The Lord has set his throne set his throne in heaven mm -hmm. and his kingdom rules over everything. Wow. That's what David said. That's what God told David. Who are his angels? Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You are mighty warriors who do what he says and who obeys his voice. Yes. That's why the angel says, should we go get him now? Because they have the power. Because they've been given the power. Because yeah. he is the power. He has all power. Right. That speaks of how great God is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a time for everything. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. That's true. You, his army, Praise the Lord. You are his servants who want to do what he wants. In the last verse it says, everything the Lord has made should praise him. Mm -hmm. That's what he created us to do. The human race. A free will to serve him or reject him. That's right. Amen. By his great mercy, he gives that to us. Everything the Lord has made should praise him in all the places he rules, which is the world. Yes. He rules the world. Yes. Amen. My whole being, he says, praise the Lord. So when you think that God does not know what's going on, you are just informed. He does in verse 19. Yes. 
His kingdom rules over everything. David got it. Uh -huh. Did you get it? His mercy is unbelievable. Amen. And because of it, we should praise him every chance we have. Because he is great. Amen. His power is not matched. Listen to this. His power is not matched by no other. That's right. How about this one? There is no equal to God. God doesn't have a partner. <laughs> Amen. Amen. There is no equal to God. That's right. He is the supreme, mm -hmm. great, almighty God. Mm -hmm. You can't even put it into words of who God is. Yeah. It doesn't give him the justice that he deserves. Mm -hmm. And the mercy that he shows his creation. Thank you. Today, let us thank him for the mercy in our life. Mm -hmm. And let us live this life that is worthy of his mercy. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Father. That was my words for today. Amen. Amen. Just talking about God's great mercy. Yes. And I just want you to think about what I said. Even when we talked about forgiveness a couple weeks ago. Now let's look at his great mercy for yes. you and for the lost. Mm -hmm. And not that have mercy for the lost. Because even if we can't be together, we can still pick up the phone and call people. We can still right. call friends. Mm -hmm. We can still speak about the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. And that mercy that God showed us, we can give it to others. Yes. Because, like I said, there is a time limit. Because God's coming back. Mm -hmm. This world feels like it's falling apart. God knows exactly what's going on. Yes, he does. It's all part of his plan. But in that plan, he has mercy for everyone mm -hmm. that will accept him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank we thank you today for joining us. And I trust that God will keep you until next time. Yes. Our church service will be Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Thursday at 11 a.m. with Melissa and me. And we definitely will see you next Sunday at 11 a.m. Amen. Be blessed, church. We love you. And before we go, we're going to pray. Yes. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, Lord, we, yes, God, we thank you for your mercy, Father. Yes. We thank you for the life that you've given us, Father. And Lord, let us don't take it granted. Yes, Jesus. Of that great mercy, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your power, Father. Lord, we thank you for who you are to us, Father. Lord, we thank you for what you mean to us, Father. Lord, let us have clarity in our life of how great you are and how great your mercy is, Father. Lord, we ask you, Father, to watch over yes, all Jesus. of us. Everybody that hears my words on the wide web and all different things that are going broadcast out that God will keep you yes. until next time when we ask God's hand of protection upon the local body. Just remember church, we love you and we're thinking about you and you know what? We are praying for you. Yes. And if you need prayer, please call us. Amen. 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 We don't know what's going on in your life unless you let us know. Also, uh, there are some people in the church that are on the road. We want to pray for safety. Um, for their family, um, yes. Brother Joseph and his family. So we just want to uh, just pray for them, keep them in your prayers. And all the people that are sick, that anybody, would you, God touch them. Amen. God is a toucher. He, he, he wants to heal today. Yes. Praise yes. God. And we pray for all the people that need healing, Father. Lord, that don't feel good in their bodies, mm -hmm. Father. Thank or you, touched Lord. by the different ailments, Father. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to touch them, Father. Lord, we ask you to touch our family, Father. Our friends, our co-workers, Father, our neighbors, Father, our brothers Thank and sisters, you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we pray for the church, for Lord, we pray for strength for the church, Father. In Jesus' name we pray and we say, Amen. Amen. Praise God.